This reaction is brought to you by my copious amounts of $5 or more patrons at patreon.com slash alexheights. I'd like to thank Steve Aldersley, Andres Glacial, Ray Schuster, Andrew Graff, at Video 69 on Twitter, Ben Loden, Dan Navarro, Identitech, Kurt David, Mark Ventura, Mason Frost, Matthew McLaughlin, M. DeBelly, Music Addict, Will E., Will G., B. Jabber, David Mannion, Ewan Reed, James Hanley, Livitz, and Sam Gavshack. This is the most $5 patrons I've ever had. Thank you, everybody. Um, thank you for supporting me, my family, the channel. I appreciate it immensely, and I hope you all enjoy the video. Here we are. Here we are. We are uh, we're doing more of the REM, more of the good stuff. Uh, so I assume you've seen my murmur reaction at this point. If you haven't, it will be linked in a comment down below. <coughs> um, needless to say, I loved it. Uh, it's actually my ninth favorite album of all time now. Maybe I'll put up a graphic on screen here. This is my chart. Here's my top 10 um, <clears throat> albums of all time. And uh, yeah, I loved Murmur. I'm not going to really go into it much here. Um, I'll save it for the follow-up uh, in the next batch that I do. Um, there's something about the cryptic mysteriousness of Murmur uh, the, the tones, the sounds, the compositions, Stipe's lyrics, um, his vocal delivery mixed with the really like mainstream pop appeal of the, the melodies. Um, it's, <coughs> it's incredibly remarkable. Um, so I've been very excited to get into this next one because I, I'm curious to see if I like this. As much, if not more, than, than Murmur. We'll see. People are putting them really close together. Uh, it is substantially shorter. Uh, it's only 38 minutes, <coughs> whereas Murmur was uh, in the 45-minute range. Um, but uh, I think this will be a fun one. For those who don't know, I do unedited reactions at my Patreon, patreon.com slash alexheights. For $5 a month, you can get access to unedited reactions from Modest Mouse going forward. That is April of 2021. And um, I think we're approaching about the uh, 50 album range on the unedited reactions that you can get access to for just $5 a month. Um, Help support the channel, pay for the Vimeo hosting for the unedited reactions. Uh, if you don't want to hop in at five, you can hop in at one dollar a month, get access to voting in polls that we do every two to four albums. It kind of breaks up the monotony of going through complete artists, or not complete, but uh, substantial chunks of artist discographies um, and just lets us do a miscellaneous album here and there. So uh, if you want to support the channel, Patreon would be a great place to do it. Also want to recommend NordVPN, link in the description for that. Uh, I've been using Nord for uh, several years now. They reached out to me uh, recently, wanted to know if I wanted to be an affiliate. I'm like, sure, um, great service, great speeds, uh, great prices as well. One of the best price VPNs on the market. Uh, so go ahead and uh, check out my link in the description if you want to uh, get a hold of it. <coughs> All right, Reckoning. 1984 so this is one year after murmur um it was alternatively titled file underwater um and there's a lot of water themes apparently on this album um recorded over 16 days uh in december of 83 and january of 84 um yeah i i'm very excited to listen to this uh we have 10 tracks here <coughs> um I don't really know. I, I haven't heard any of the tracks on this album. Um, I don't, I'm pretty sure. I don't think. None of them look familiar. Maybe I've heard them before. Like, as I was going through Murmur, I was thinking, maybe, like, I will have heard some of these, like, you know, on the radio somewhere. And I just, like, uh, don't recognize the title. But that was not the case. That was not the case. Um... I have some predictions here for which songs I, I will like. Uh, Southern Central Rain, Time After Time, and Don't Go Back to Rockville are the three tracks that have been predicted that I will enjoy. Um, so yeah, no idea what to expect here. We're just going to hop right on in. I'm very eager to listen to this. Um, let's go with the first track, Harbor Coat. She 
gathered the call interesting start um still has that spice that like songwriting spice um i know i I said like i I gotta wait until the follow-up for murmur to talk about a lot of this stuff but man gotta shout out mike mills backing vocals um i I assume that's always or most often the backing vocals i know uh bill barry does some vocals on here as well um such a nice compliment uh, really adds adds some flavor to the tracks. Uh, yeah, this very very straightforward way to open the album uh, seems pretty good to me so far. Uh, so let's go to the next one. Seven Chinese Bros Brothers. Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I'm noticing a a lean away from a lot of that like mystery. There was that really cool like breakdown partway through the song where it just took like a tonal shift, um, and like I that was all over Murmur and I loved it. Um, this seems a little bit more straightforward in like a pop sense. It's a little lighter, a little brighter, and obviously there's like the uh, aquatic theme to this. So it just kind of has that more flowy, brighter sound and tone, I think. Um, guitar playing is still great. I uh, love Peter Buck's songwriting on uh, on the riffs. Always good stuff. All right, Southern Central Rain, I assume, is what that means. So Central Rain. This is predicted to be a favorite. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Good, good. Um, I'll probably end up liking that more than... So far, I've liked kind of everything more than the last. I'll probably end up liking this more than Seven Chinese Brothers, but at the moment, I think that's still my my preferred one. This was interesting. Very uh, repetitious chorus. Uh, just kind of repeated the same measure over and over. Um, this is apparently Tom York's favorite REM song. Which I can kind of see that ending reminded me of uh, Karma Police a little bit, where it just sort of like 
kind of crescendos. Um, yeah, I dig. I dig. This This still has an interesting sound. It's not quite as obscured as Murmur. Like, Murmur has something special going on in the background. This feels a little more like, okay, we're feeling super creative. Let's pump out a bunch of good stuff. Um, which... I mean, like, I recently did uh, Once Twice Melody by Beach House, and it's like, it's a great album because I think there's maybe two or three good songs on that, like, 18-track album that are, like, great. Like, you know, fantastic 9 out of 10 songs. The rest are, like, 7.58 consistently. And that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this, where it's like, so far none of this has been, like, perfect circle level pilgrimage level laughing level for me moral kiosk level uh, i'm just naming the whole album um a, a lot of these feel more like in the radio free europe arena uh, where it's just like pretty good um a little more direct i should say uh anyway let's keep going i want to keep listening pretty persuasion John, man, uh, least favorite so far, but it's still quite good. Uh, I'm kind of, it started very similar to, uh, talk about the passion with just like a very, you know, extended kind of finger picked guitar arpeggio thing. Um, also I think talk about the passion was track four on the last one. Um, seems like their track fours are, are very specifically, uh, themed or toned. Um, this one, I like the energy, um, not like it's just, it's just kind of pay, sort of like talking about the passion for me. It just sort of pales amidst all the other songs because it's more simple, but that doesn't mean it's like worse. If that makes sense. It just doesn't jump out to me as much because everything else is just kind of catching my little, you know, squirrel ADHD eyes. Apparently. I don't know. Uh, next one, time after time, Annalise. Interesting. Um, I, that I did not love that one. That was that was a wrong prediction. Um, I do think it was good. Uh, again, like pretty persuasion though, just very simple. Um, but I do have to commend. I liked the uh, the really like open guitar strums. It almost reminded me of Cashmere by Led Zeppelin a little bit. It just felt kind of like I don't know, not like Middle Eastern or uh, European, but just not. It, it, it evoked some kind of different, like, uh, mode of uh, scale kind of a thing for me. Um, yeah, uh, uh, it's okay. I might like Pretty Persuasion more, actually, than that one. Um, I've liked, I, I really like the first three. These last two have just been kind of like, sort of like sitting still for me off the first album, where it's just like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I probably won't come back to it a lot, but it's fine. All right, B-side. Here we come. Uh, second Guessing.
You know, what I'm kind of feeling from this album, um, I'm definitely not liking it as much as Murmur. Um, but uh, mostly because I feel like Murmur had time to kind of like sit and age. Like they took their time with those songs, it seemed. I could be completely wrong. Uh, this seems a little bit more like, you know, pumped out. Like it was, they were being really prolific during this time. Um, and maybe there were other like good B-sides around this time. I, I don't know. Um, but like these last three just have not hit me very hard at all uh, compared to the first three. Second guessing, um, least favorite so far. It's not, it's not bad, but it's certainly not like, I would say that's one of the worst REM songs I've heard thus far on this, uh, on this journey, which that sounds really harsh. Um, but it just, it, that, that didn't do a whole ton for me. Maybe, maybe it's a bad B side. Is it a bad B side? Oh no. Uh, let's keep going. Letter never sent. That's okay. Uh, I like that more than second guessing. But again, uh, a lot of these are very simple. That that spice is largely missing that made Murmur so magical. Um, but all that being said, this is still super palatable. There's very little wrong with this. Let's put it that way. It's like Murmur is something special and kind of like a masterwork. And to hold this up against that is a little unfair, I would say. But uh, yeah, let's keep going. I have three tracks left. Camera. <laughs> uh, apparently earlier versions of the album didn't have that extra like 30 seconds at the end um interesting i i got vibes not that the it's anything like it but i got vibes of like uh spiderland slint um a little bit of like low slow core as well which rest in peace mimi just recently passed away um yeah, very, uh, also, um, like 17 seconds, the cure, just like a very kind of like slow brooding has like a Gothic post rock tone to it. Um, that was interesting. I, I, again, did not love it. Like first three tracks I were, have been my favorite so far by, by far. Um, but camera was interesting. Uh, very eager to see what don't go back to Rockville is like. This is the last prediction that uh, apparently I will like. So let's go.
was a bop. That was good. I like that. Um, uh, the uh, the chorus, best part, I think. Just simple piano. Um, I love when they're able to like just be super deft with instruments and accomplish a lot with very simple concepts, um, which I didn't feel happened a lot um, between Pretty Persuasion and like Letter Never Sent, um, which is unfortunate, but... What can you do? Uh, last track, everybody. Little America. Let's finish this out, and then we'll 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 chat about this. Still have an extra minute. They can't keep getting away with it. Okay, well, Little America, um, kind of like Camera, sort of has um, it. It has that mystery, not like quite like what Murmur was able to accomplish. Um, but it's definitely kind of like a little obfuscated, a little hazy. It's sort of difficult to pin down weird chord shifts. Um, very interesting. Very interesting. Okay. There it is. There is Reckoning. Um, it's not as good as Murmur by a long shot. Um, it has more, I wouldn't say duds. Um, except for maybe Second Guessing is probably my my least favorite so far. Um Harbor Coat, Seven Chinese Brothers, and uh, Southern Central Rain, or South Central Rain. Uh, pretty great. Pretty great. Um, I also enjoyed Camera to some small degree, Little America to some small degree, and then uh, I think Rockville was quite good as well. Uh, like, Pretty Persuasion and Time After Time, they were straightforward. Um, so here's the thing. I, I wonder if re-listens will help on this one. Murmur just jumped out to me. There was something about that just immediately on first listen. And it, it just got better and better with every subsequent re-listen. Um, and I'm still listening to it a lot. This, um, I am willing to listen to pretty much all of these again um, multiple times. Um, and I'm interested to see how it settles. <clears throat> because I don't think I will ever like this more than Murmur. But uh, I think some of these have potential to be growers, possibly. Uh, this one's just a little more simple. Uh, it's lacking some of that spice, and there's kind of a different spice here um, that doesn't quite grab me as much as the other spice, the murmur spice. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's Reckoning, R-E-M. Uh, pretty solid album. This is the last one uh, produced by Don Dixon and Mitch Easter. Uh, so I'll be interested to see how Fables holds up. Apparently it's a little bit more folky um, than some of these other ones. Not quite sure. Um, but I'm interested to see where, where they go from here for sure. Okay. That's it, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. I didn't have a ton to say on this one. Um, I apologize, but, uh, it, I not, it's not as, um, just hitting me in, in real deep ways like the other one did. It's a little more simple. And so it's really hard to talk in depth about it, but, uh, on the follow up, I promise. Um, okay. That's it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks to plug it again. Patreon.com slash Alex Heights. Um, dollar a month access to voting in polls. Five dollars a month uh, access to unedited reactions of which this and all future ones will be one. Uh, and then also the Discord. Got to let you know about the Discord. Link to that in the description. Got about 160 to 70 members over there. Uh, lots of fun music discussion, top charts, memes, controversial topics. We talk about everything over there. And we have a great time doing it. Anyway, that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. Short, simple video. Um, like I said, not a whole lot to talk about, I felt. But uh, maybe the follow-up will uh, will hold more. Um, and I'm eager to re-listen to this because uh, it definitely took me by surprise a little bit. Uh, kind of in an underwhelming way, but hopefully it will become, you know, it'll kind of 
fix itself as it goes uh eager to re-listen so that's all i got thank you for watching uh stay tuned for more content we're doing more uh don paypal donation streams because i'm a poor man and people seem to like them so i'm gonna keep doing them <laughs> um that's all i got hope you're all well until next time everybody i'll catch you around godspeed <laughs>